Even 60 years ago, space was an explored bus for my kite, full of mysteries and danger. Today, the space is an integral part of our life, the benefits of which we use every day. All this would be impossible without the Russian scientist who launched the first Earth satellite, who sent the first man into space. Since then, we have revealed some secrets, but at the same time, there are new problems that require timely solution for main kite. Russian scientists are ready to challenge boundless space again. Astra Challenge. We want to make the world around us safe for the humankind. The near space has more than 200,000 small objects that may interfere with navigation. Our audience has probably heard such terms as dark energy, dark matter. These phenomena pose a real challenge to scientists today. One of the leading Russian educational and research centers is located in the city of Kazan. Here at the Institute of Physics of Kazan Federal University, near and deep space is studied. Thanks to the rich infrastructure of Kazan University, it has become possible to implement a variety of research projects. At the disposal of the local astronomers, there are optical telescope RTT-150, which is located in Turkey, optical system of white monitoring Minimaga Totora and astronomical station in the North Caucasus, astronomical observatory named after Engelgard and own planetarium, radiophysical polygon with a meteor radar. The uniqueness of Kazan University is that we have an outstanding infrastructure. In the exploration of near space, we have meteor radio location. We are the, the founders of this research domain, and uh, some applications of this brought us uh, to the forefront. Technical and human resources of the Institute of Physics brought space exploration in Kazan University at the forefront. So, Strategic Academic Unit Astro Challenge, founded in 2016, has become an accumulating platform for breakthrough university researchers in the field of space. The fact is that if we engage in traditional spheres, we will always lag behind. This strategic academic unit suggests that we focus on breakthroughs and face tomorrow's tasks, not today's. There are problems that have not been solved so far. For example, the asteroid danger. Chelyabinsk meteorite is one example of the real meaning of this problem. We must observe the surrounding space to tell in advance where an asteroid could come from. Such system should be implemented many years before the hypothetical collision, so that the humankind has time to come up with technological ways to fend it off. The International Astronomical Union has selected groups of asteroids close to the Earth. The word close here means 10 distances from the Earth to the Moon. If an asteroid falls into this zone, there is a chance that in 100 or 200 years, its orbit can cross the Earth's orbit, which means it can enter the dense layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Tracking of such asteroids is carried out by Kazan University's telescopes as well. In addition to the asteroids in near space, there are many other dangerous objects, for example, a meteoroid dust that sometimes crosses the orbit of the Earth. These small remnants of comets which travel through space cannot harm humans on Earth, as when they enter the dense layers of our atmosphere, they burn up. But meteoroid dust particles, which fly at a speed of about 50 km per second, can damage or even destroy the expensive satellite systems. To avoid this, the scientists of Kazan Federal University monitor not only at night, but also in the daytime. Knowledge of when, where and what meteor showers can come is essential. It can help schedule the launches of such satellites, so as to avoid collisions. This is also one of the areas of our work. We have a meteor radar. So we astronomers observe such objects at night. We cannot see them during daytime, but the radar can. One of the key areas of work of Astro Challenge is the study of the Moon. It is known as natural satellite of our planet, the nearest celestial body to it, the study of which began long before the development of space by human. Moon is the only space body which humans have visited. However, there is no detailed map of the Moon. 
260 I have processed about 260 objects on the Moon and placed them on the map with sufficient accuracy. Increasing the accuracy of the lunar map is the main task of our lunar missions. This is necessary for spacecraft landing plans. Therefore, this program is very important to us, and we are among the leaders here. For instance, Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, has contracted us to work on this program. Kazan scientists pay their attention not only to near space. The distant stars, the black holes, cannot be hidden from the modern astronomer. For their study, apply advanced technology in Kazan University. We are engaged in the studies of such problems as the occurrence, the evolution and the structure of the universe. I'm working in the gravitational theory. The purpose of our research is to clarify the history of the universe. How and when start this universe and how to end this universe. The uniqueness of the project Astro Challenge lies in its comprehensive approach to science. Here professionals involved in basic research, applied research projects, space-based observation interact on the same site. The result of this tandem is successful projects which arouse interest of the international scientific community. The dawn of the space era 60 years ago was marked by the fact that mankind began to launch astronomical instruments and telescopes into space. And it became clear that we can explore the universe not only by optical means, but also all throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, including radio range, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, X-ray and gamma range. And one of the most exciting ways is X-ray, because X-ray photons are emitted by objects that are either in the active stage of their life, uh, flashing exploding objects, or complex astrophysical systems, which include binary systems, one of the sources where is a black hole or a neutron star, and the second, for example, a neighboring star, is a source of matter for the black hole's accretion disk. X-ray space observatories cost fabulous money. Typically, these satellites are launched in cooperation by several organizations. Kazan Federal University has access to the data of X-ray observatories, thanks to the cooperation with the leading Russian and international centers. In 2017, Roscosmos will launch X-ray Observatory Spectrum X-ray Gamma under the guidance of the Space Research Institute of Russian Academy of Science together with German Space Agency. Kazan Federal University will bring its contribution in this project Wheel 1 and the half meter optic telescope RTT-150. This X-ray telescope must be accompanied by optical measurements from the ground. And these measurements must exactly follow the measurements of the telescope. So if an X-ray observatory finds a source of high radiation, an optical telescope allows us to identify it. And our telescope, located in Turkey, is a part of this work. One of the key partners of Kazan University in the framework of this project is Russian Academy of Science. There are many types of potential discoveries. It turns out that a cluster of galaxies forms very slowly. In the beginning there is X-ray radiation and only the force of gravity works, so it is possible to calculate the parameters of the universe more precisely, even up to the moment of its emergence. How much of this or that substance was in the universe, how much gravitational energy there was, how much dark matter. So by studying clusters we can reliably calculate the parameters of the universe and it is possible to confirm or discover something. Partnership of Kazan Federal University with leading world-class scientists and international centers opens new opportunities for the study of the universe. That is why cooperation is a major component of Astro Challenge's policy. The Astro Challenge has been in many ways made possible precisely because we work in close collaboration with our overseas colleagues. Uh, specifically, as theorists, we have collaborations in France, Spain, Portugal, Japan and Germany. The research consultant and ideologist of our theoretical work is Professor Alexei Starobinsky, a world-renowned expert. We have invited about 25 partners, leading foreign researchers. Nine people have a citation index of more than 30, so we direct our long employees under their guidance and we start to work on projects with them.
Astro Challenge is not only science, but also an education. In fact, breakthrough research and ambitious projects require the appropriate knowledge and people able to think outside the box. On the basis of Astro Challenge is planned opening new interdisciplinary areas of training, because modern science is the work of teams of scientists from different fields. So, strategic academic unit Astro Challenge is going to become a coordination platform.